Hello friends, welcome to Biology Lover. So today we are going to discuss about the T cell development and maturation. We know the precursor cell for the T cell, hematopoietic stem cell, is present in the bone marrow. But T cell development and maturation is happen in the thymus. So how this process is going on, how it is happen, we are going to discuss today. So I have a very special picture for you. It can give you a clear concept about the T cell development and maturation in thymus. So let's come, we are going to discuss about it. So, so you can see here, this is a hematopoietic stem cell. And hematopoietic stem cell, we know this is a multipotent stem cell. It can give the old type of blood cell, um, blood cell in our body. So hematopoietic stem cell present in the bone marrow. And from hematopoietic stem cell, the common lymphoid precursor is formed. And this common lymphoid precursor can give the B cell and T cell also. So this common lymphoid precursor migrate through the blood and reaches at the thymus. At thymus, it becomes the T cell precursor. And this T cell precursor is now not contain any special type of receptor. It is now, we can't say that this is a killer T cell, this is a helper T cell, it's going to be a killer T cell, helper T cell. We can't say that. It contains general surface marker like the CD44, CD25, general surface marker. After that, the pro T cell is pro. The, this pro T cell becomes the double negative. It doesn't contain CD4 uh, CD receptor and CD8 receptor. So here the pro T cell uh, gene rearrangement is going on. TCR locus rearrangement is going on. Generally, gene rearrangement um, happen in the um, during the gametogenesis period. But in our special cell like the B cell, T cell, after our development, after our embryo development also gene rearrangement happen in our special cell. This special cell are the B cell and T cell. So you need to remember here gene rearrangement is going on. So this gene rearrangement can develop the new receptor in this, on this pro T cell. Now become they become the double negative pro T cell and this pro T cell give to the pre T cell. And this pre cell T cell gene rearrangement is going on like that here the gene is B, B, D, B, J, B. This type of gene is present and this gene rearrangement is going on. It is become now also double negative. From the pre T cell pro T cell is formed. When gene rearrangement is completed, it express the double positive receptor on its surface means it contains both CD8 receptor and CD4 receptor. It's become after gene enrichment com completed, it becomes the pro T cell and it contains both double positive receptor. After that, here, here the some thymic selection is the positive negative selection is going on. After that, this T cell is express only one type of receptor, either CD8 receptor or either CD4 receptor and loses the another type of receptor. When it loses, Another type of receptor, receptor after that it contains the single positive receptor, it becomes the mature. And when the it is uh, it contains the CD4 receptor, so it becomes the helper T cell. If it contains CD8 receptor, it could become the killer T cell. And after maturation, it migrate to the peripheral tissue. So like this way, the T cell development is process is going on stepwise manner. But how and which region this development is happen? And how which type of selection is going to happen? We are going to discuss in a next slide so let's come so this is the we can you can see here here the thymus present in our thoracic cavity and the cross section is the kind of mentioned that this is the capsular region this is the cortex and this is medulla and here the hypothetical diagram given for the thymus we know for the when the precursor T cell is come to the thymus here the here the subcapsular region and this precursor T cell it is going to interact with the um, cortical epithelial cell or thymic stroma nerve cell it going to interact with it and when it going to the thymic uh, stroma cell nerve cell it in this is the precursor T cell become double positive double positive means it going to express both cd4 and cd8 receptor here you can see here cd4 cd8 receptor after that here the two selection is going on you need to remember one is positive selection one is negative selection after the two selection a mature t cell is formed so which type of selection you need to remember the positive selection and negative selection question are asked from the this region what is positive selection and what is negative selection in t cell maturation so here the double positive t cell is formed after that it going for the positive selection in case of the positive selection it recognize the mhc molecule it recognize the mhc molecule this mhc molecule is the present on the the present on the stroma or nerve cell so thymic stroma nerve cell so here the 
it going to the who is in the this T cell if recognize it is recognize MHC class one molecule is MHC class one receptor then it going to be the CD8 return receptor if it going to recognize the MHC class two receptor it going to be the return CD4 receptor and lost the another one means if it can recognize the MHC class 1, it is going to return the CD8 receptor and CD4 is lost. If it recognize the MHC class 2, then it is going to lost CD8 and return CD4. So in the first selection, positive selection, it is going to recognize the MHC molecule. MHC molecule or protein. After the it here the positive selection is going on. Positively means it is going to recognize. And those cells who are not able to recognize the MHC um, peptide or MHC molecule, so it going to be uh, going to be destroyed by the apoptosis. After that, another selection is going on is the negative selection. What is the negative selection? In negative selection, it is going to recognize the own cell peptide. If it is not able to recognize body own peptide or own antigen, it can destroy our our body cell. It can destroy our um, body general cell. So it need to recognize what is foreign antigen and what is host specific own antigen. So if it can recognize the, that it after negative selection, here the macrophage dendritic cell it represents the cell peptide to the uh, developing T cell. When the T cell come and interact with the the macrophage and dendritic T cell, here cell peptide is represent and those cells who are recognized, this is our cell peptide and we are not going to be uh, highly interact or uh, not bind in a high ability to it and able to recognize those cells are uh, surviving. And those cells, you can see here, this cell, the those cells we are not able to recognize, this cell is not our not our cell peptide that are not able to recognize that this is our cell peptide and going to react it it going to be destroyed by the apoptosis so here two selection is happen one is positive selection another is negative selection so in positive selection the mhc detection happen and in negative selection cell peptide detection is happen those cell who are passing these two examination you can say that these two examination so those are going to be become the self tolerant single positive T cells means either it going to be CD4 T cell and either it going to be CD8 T cell. So this type 2 selection is very essential. Nearly 3 to 5 percent of the T cell, the pro T cell can be able to pass this the two selection and going to be mature in the going to be a become the mature T cell either CD4 T cell or CD8 T cell. After the maturation it is going to the periphery. So you need to remember so which type of selection going on from which region and which process is going to be mature T cell. So thank you for your interest.